Meet Zoe Atkinson, her partner Paul, and their greyhound puppies, Roxy and Rio. These squabbling sisters are out of control. They fight. Enough! They bite. Ow! And they've turned the house into a canine carsey. Will Victoria be able to tame the Twisted Sisters before they tear this couple apart? I said I've had enough. I've asked Paul Luke to leave a few times. It's, it's twice. just twice. This is a couple that are on the verge of splitting up because of their dogs. Zoe and Paul had been living happily together for two and a half years when they decided to get two greyhound puppies. Cute little Roxy and her sister, Rio. Lovely, weren't they? They were lovely to start with. They were really, really sweet. But the puppies grew and grew. I thought it was really sweet when the puppies started losing their teeth. Now, obviously, their teeth were a lot bigger and hurt. <laughs> Ow! And what started as a dream turned into their worst nightmare. Over the last seven months, these two have turned the house into a toilet. It's such hard work, it's continuous. Oh, my God. Morning, lunchtime, evening. Oh, Jesus. What? Can you just oh, get out of the way? And when they've done with the messing, it's on with the wrestling. Leg biting, tail biting. It's not very nice to see your, your, your puppies uh, so aggressive with all their teeth showing. Girls, come on, that's enough now. And although it's only play, it can get rough. Ouch! Ow! Ow! The dogs aren't the only ones squabbling. Zoe and Paul just can't agree on how to deal with their pets. Zoe does criticise the way I do things with the dogs. Don't, don't pull her like that in your bed. You can't even play with her. You can't even play with her properly. Paul! Sort okay. your dog out! He just shouts at them. Enough! Pack it in! If I do say something, I know it's going to cause an argument, so I normally just... I don't say anything. So Paul's given up, and Zoe's doing it all. Hey! From Come scooping on. their poop... Move your bum! Seriously, Paul! Come ..to refereeing their scraps. Paul! Come here! The heavy workload is getting to Zoe. Why don't you get up a couple of times a week and you can clean the poo and the way up? <laughs> and after seven months of it, this is one relationship that's well into injury time. We haven't been out together on our own for months and months and months. The relationship is really bad at the minute. Um, to the point where I'm, I'm really angry, really stressed out all the time. And the final whistle's about to blow. If the situation got worse and things were to escalate and, and the bickering carried on and the arguing and Paul shouting all the time, and if, if it came to it, I think something would have to go and I think that would have to be Paul. Can Victoria tame the hellhounds and save this couple in crisis before it's too late? Having a dog should be something that everyone can enjoy together. But when dogs come between a couple and threaten to ruin a relationship, something is seriously wrong. Two scrapping dogs and a couple at war. Has Victoria finally met her match? Come in. Hello. 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 Oh, dear. Oh, you are splendid dogs. They fight a lot. <laughs> That's not fighting. And now it's escalating. Now it's escalating. Yeah. Yes. Bob! Let's not have any of that, please. Just stop now. But seconds okay, later, okay. Rio's right. at it again. Rio, let go. No. Why do you think she's doing this on I you? I don't know. I think she hates me. Although Zoe thinks this is aggression, Victoria sees it differently. She's just playing with you. You could almost be like a tug toy. Yeah, yeah. That's what you are. Oh, it's great, you're trying to get her off, and she's like, no, I'm having a good time. Now that she's seen them in action in the house, Victoria takes dogs and owners out for a nice stroll in the countryside. Or maybe not. Girls! <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. 
Victoria sees firsthand what daily walks are like for Zoe. With Paul standing back, Victoria decides to step in. That's what it's like every time I try and come in a field like this or... Right. But you do walk them by yourself in the, in the uh, morning, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I can see why Zoe's having problems walking these dogs. They've got so much pent-up energy, they just want to run. Back to the house, and it's time for Victoria right. to go undercover. Now we'll see the evidence, OK? She wants to see what Roxy and Rio get up to when their owners are out. She walks and wheezes. She does it on the move. <laughs> they jump up, I get splashed in the face with wee, I get poo all down my work suit. Got here she, she goes. goes. There we go. Here's the poop walk. Where's the best place? Shall I do it by the radiator or by the door? There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, Rick is going to check out what's coming out. That's <laughs> lovely, isn't oh, it? Oh, bless it. She yeah. just trod in the poo! Oh, God! Every time we go to cook some, some dinner or make some sandwiches or whatever, you're just thinking of poo and we... That's just... Shocking. Oh OK, ready? Oh, no! This is the worst peeing and pooing that I've ever seen. Take it that's not a compliment, then. Not a compliment. <laughs> yeah, not a compliment. And this isn't just a hygiene problem. Victoria's about to discover the reason why this couple are at war. Who normally cleans it up? Uh, I'm, I'm the only one who does it in the mornings because if Paul does it in the mornings, he complains about it a lot and the complaining and the comments and the remarks uh, it, it upsets me and causes tension. First of all, I understand why you complain about doing it, but you also have no right to be annoyed with the dogs because you're the one that didn't give the dogs the training in the first place, the proper house training, so that they didn't have to do this. It's like taking a nappy off a baby and then not telling them how to use the big girl's toilet. I am appalled. These are the worst house-trained dogs I've ever seen, and the reason why they're so bad is because they haven't been taught to toilet properly. And it's also awful that their owners are arguing so much over it. This relationship is definitely in the doo-doo. Victoria wants to talk to Paul to see how he feels. Do you think you put in as much effort as Zoe does with the dogs? No. Um, and that's literally just because I'm stressed out and angry with them. She does tell me what to do all the time, and that doesn't help either. No. So I go to bed angry. Um, I'm not sleeping. I've been on sleeping tablets uh, just to try and help me along. You know, the smell, the mess, the cleaning up. Isn't it? You don't have any sort of free time. What was your relationship like before the dogs came? It was a really happy relationship. We got on really well. And how bad have things got? In the heat of the moment, she said, you know, I want you to leave. Right. That's pretty major. Mm. Things are about as bad as they can get. It's time for Victoria to lay it on the line for Zoe and Paul. If you're putting too much of your energy and too much of your effort and everything into your dogs, what is there left for him? But at the same time, if you're always being angry, mm. yet you're not putting enough time into the dogs, what do you expect? It's this two polar opposites almost that need to, to, to come together because I see those dogs getting blamed for behaviour that they shouldn't be getting blamed for. Do you think I'm being particularly harsh? No, no, but, I, well, it's, it's how I feel about Paul. It's I want Paul to come more to my way of thinking and I'll come a little bit, a tiny bit towards no, 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 no. way. But I'm looking at you and yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it, there's yeah. a lot of things that you have done wrong here with your dogs. Mm -hmm. So don't think that he's got to make a massive leap mm -hmm. and you've got to make just a little leap. Mm -hmm. You both have to make equal leaps. And I will not train your dogs unless you agree to do that because there's no point in me being here. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's OK. I'm not sad, I just feel like no. it's a relief, you know, somebody to say, just, you know, 
You don't need to take all this pressure on yourself. Now you must help take that pressure off, Zoe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, we, we agree. I'm very happy to change. Yeah, so same add that, add that extra. OK, mm. definitely. Okay. This is a couple that are on the verge of splitting up because of their dogs. So the only way we can go is up. Training starts and the team building begins. Greyhounds are the second fastest land animal and they love to run free. But Zoe has never let Roxy and Rio off the lead together because she's scared that if she did, they'd never come back. It can be quite difficult to let greyhounds off the lead because they have a special penchant for small fluffy things that run fast. So I brought you to an enclosed field where uh, they can run without fear of you losing them. Look at that. Is that a beautiful sight or what? Awesome. The once squabbling sisters are now poetry in motion. But not for long. Roxy! Sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm panicking. Girls, I want is... Zoe to take a step Roxy. back. Let them be dogs, let them go. This is girls. a safe area. What's she doing now? She said she yeah, was worried, is... she's panicking, so she's gone down yeah, to What are you doing? You've got to let them be. Yeah, I'm just, just a bit concerned. They're just, you know... What are you concerned about? They can't get to the other field. This is an enclosed area which we've checked Roxy out. Roxy can bounce pretty high. She can't jump six a six-foot foot fence. Let them go. OK. But they're having a fantastic time. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. See, now I want to call them back. Don't. Just let them be. I don't think I can. No, well, don't, cos if you call them back, I'm going to floor you. <laughs> I can't, well, I can't watch then. OK, turn your back then. I can't watch. Watch. I turn watch. your back. My heart's going. Mm. I can't breathe. <laughs> it is so frustrating. Zoe won't leave the dogs alone. And if she's not prepared to do that, the dogs aren't going to get trained. And Victoria has a novel idea to force Zoe and Paul to work together as a team. Now, I bet you didn't think of this. They have to drive a tank around an obstacle course. But there's a catch. The person who's driving is going to be blindfolded um, and is going to rely on the other person to direct them. Now, the reason why I brought you here is because you've been like this, polar opposites. You're now going to have to work like this. So this is the start of working together as a team. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe normally likes to give the instructions. How will she be at taking them? Turn right, turn right. Right, left, left a bit, left, 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 loads. I can't believe it. Paul's right, giving direction. Right, right. And Zoe hasn't answered back yet. Left, left. Don't forget to tell me to give gas or not. Yeah. Folded driving went really well and it, it doesn't look like it's got anything to do with dog training whatsoever but actually what we wanted to do was to get Zoe and Paul working as a team and they did it brilliantly. How did that feel? Terrifying. Yeah? But yeah I, I trusted Paul's judgment. I trusted trusted his judgment okay. and felt quite safe in, in his hands. I thought you'd done really well. Thank you. Thank you. Now they're working well together, it's time to bring in the dogs. Zoe's nervous about letting the greyhounds off the lead. To help her feel calmer, Victoria has a simple but effective technique for getting them back. This is obviously something that you're going to do together in exactly the same way, all right, so the dogs don't get confused. Hey, girl. She starts by hey, teaching girl. the dogs to associate the sound of the whistle with a tasty treat. Roxy and Rio seem to be getting the idea, so she starts to work with them from further away. Let me take one of the dogs. Good girl! In no time at all, she has Roxy bounding back with each whistle blow. And Paul and Zoe get the hang of it too. Good. Good girl. Good. Good. Girl. Good. Excellent, Zoe. 
That's it, good. It seems to have done the trick. Brilliant. How did that make you feel? Yeah, really good, confident. I felt confident letting her off. But that was really good. Zoe and Paul are finally working together. But they're going to need top teamwork to tackle Roxy and Rio's toileting habits. Victoria's plan is to shock them into a united front. Obviously, when they jump up on the sides, there's traces of urine and poo. It goes here. Cupboards, baby gate, the radiators ends up on your cutlery too. When you come back from work and they jump up, the wee and poo goes on you. Gosh. It's everywhere. I'm feeling violated now. <laughs> Step one, they must completely remove all evidence of pee and poo. Any trace will encourage a dog to re-offend, so specialist cleaning products are needed to stop them once and for all. Go on, Paul, put your back into it. Yeah. This gate's got to be done too, and so is this gate. Step two, Victoria puts dogs and owners on a strict new schedule. This is Roxy and Rio's toilet planner. Under the new regime, the dogs are going to be taken out eight times a day to do their business, and food and water are going to be restricted. They're not going to have anything to eat after 5.15, that's it. Mm -hmm. At 7 o'clock, you take up the water. They get no more water after 7 o'clock. And to make it a success, they're going to have to work as a team. Zoe or Paul, Zoe or Paul, Zoe or Paul. Don't you dare make it all Zoe. Because <laughs> I'll be watching you. I will, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> With less to eat and drink and more opportunities to tinkle outside, Victoria hopes the inside toilet will become a kitchen again. With the schedule in place, it's outside for their first alfresco toilet break. Good girl, come on then. Flushed with success, Victoria's last task is to tackle the dogs fighting and biting. Zoe and Paul will need to be on the same page to turn this war zone back into a happy home. This is still play. Stopping your dog's play fighting is interfering with normal dog behaviour. It can be hard to judge when the fun goes too far, so Victoria gives them some pointers on when to step in. And you normally can tell it when the growling starts to go higher pitch and more intense. Yeah. When the bodies themselves begin to tense up. Here's how not to do it. You're not going in and pulling one of the dogs off each other. So far, Zoe and Paul have done really well at putting aside their differences. But Zoe just can't help dragging up the past and pointing the finger at Paul. To possible That's attack from that dog. That's the kind of thing Paul does. And you make that dog more frustrated, but I've seen you do it too. Now it's Paul's turn to do it properly. But can he break up the fight without starting an argument? Paul, if you think the play's getting too much, make a distraction noise and walk out the room. <coughs> By making a loud noise and, and walk walking out. out, Paul is providing a distraction which breaks the tension between the dogs. This has been very hard because it's been extremely difficult for Zoe to change the way she feels and reacts with the dogs. I don't know how they're going to get on, but I really do hope there's a change when I come back. Zoe and Paul have really got their work cut out with Roxy and Rio. Greyhounds are the fastest breed of dog in the world and can reach up to an incredible 45 miles an hour. Originally bred to hunt, they have powerful prey instincts, so beware if you have cats or other small animals. But given good, consistent training, they can make gentle and loving pets. While Victoria's away, Zoe and Paul put their differences aside and work really hard together to turn their greyhounds into model dogs. Good girl. The strict regime of toilet breaks is starting to bear fruit. Here she goes. Any minute now. Good girl. Good girl. The pooping outside means a clean home inside. Hello, puppies. Wow, this is good. No wee and poo again. Lovely. And everybody's now feeling a lot calmer, including Zoe. Mm. It's great, isn't it? She's even letting them run free. And it's so nice to be able to see them run and, and, and relax a little bit about it as well. Mm. And Paul's finally pulling his weight. I've been sticking to my side of the bargain. 
or has he? He hasn't stepped up to the plate as much as I hoped he was going to. Come on, girls, I'm going to go for our morning walk. <clears throat> Paul on, just right. hasn't been getting up in the morning, leaving Zoe mm -hmm. to walk the dogs on her own. <coughs> and it was all going so well. Having left them to cope with the training on their own, Victoria's back to see how they're getting on. Come in. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Is it safe to come in? Yes, come in. Just a couple of little accidents over the last couple of weeks, but apart from that, they've been amazing. So the poo and pee three times a yeah. day. Gone. Gone. Yes. Stopped. Yes. Brilliant. All is calm and clean. So far, so good. Lovely. But has it been a team effort? OK. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How's it been going? Very well, thank yeah? you. Yeah? Well, we... Paul doesn't come on most of the walks. He's come on a few. Some. He's come on some of the walks, but... Paul. Well, actually, the truth is we keep pressing snooze. How can I put this delicately? Get up in the morning! Yeah, I'll do my best. So, there have been a few problems with the dream team. But is the future looking brighter for Zoe and Paul? <laughs> Everything seems to be a lot better, a lot calmer. Def we're definitely getting there. Um, you know, having the puppies was a lot of hard work in the beginning and we've had a lot of problems. But, you know, we're building bridges and we're trying to work together and, we, we you know, we're going to get there. Things are much better for the dogs now. Zoe and Paul still have a way to go, but I really hope that their relationship will keep improving. And it does. <laughs> Definitely arguing less now than we were before. There's more communication between the two of us. We're definitely not going to split up. We're definitely going to stick it out. We're going to work hard. Work hard. Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just be one happy family. <laughs> <laughs>